Hey guys, welcome back to T's Beauty Factory. It's Tori here and I'm back with another wig review featuring this beautiful wig that I'm wearing right now. This wig is a bob style um, wig. It is the color 27. It's this pretty blonde color. I love it so much, you guys. This company, this wig is from Amazon, of course. It's from the company Ali Pearl Hair. This is the box that it comes in, you guys. I think it's really cute, and I tried to match it with the shirt that I have on right now. Super cute. I love this hair. I also did this cute little Valentine's Day look, pre-Valentine's Day look. I was just playing around. I wanted to do something with my liquid liner, and then I just put on my red lipstick. I love this wig a lot, you guys. At first, when I'm, I'm not going to lie, this wig is going to take, you know, some time to get it to you know, look the way you want it to look. You're gonna have to style it, of course. Out of the box, it was kinda like all, um, it didn't come straight out of the box, of course. So I did have to straighten it out. I could have worn it in the wavy state that it was in when I first unboxed it. However, I didn't want to leave it that way, at, at first at least, but I know when I wash it and it dries, I will let it just stay like that. It was really pretty. It was kinda like um, all these different types of wave, you know, going on it kind of had the bump underneath and then some more wave up here at the top and that's just because like when it was in the package it was bundled up I guess and you know human hair it basically molds in the way that you have it like even if I had my hair in a ponytail all day it would literally just like have that little bump in it from that so I'm pretty sure that's why it was like that not a big deal I you know I put it on and I used some styling foam to go ahead and um, mold it so I could part it in the middle part that I wanted to put it in and then I just um, use my got to be glue to do uh, to apply the wig and then I just did some edges a little bit of edges not too much um, I really do like the wig a lot it does have this like little black if you can see the little black knots going on in it I'm not sure if this wig was black before and they bleached it I'm not sure how they um, got it to be the blonde color but you can see like some black knots in the top part of it which isn't a big deal for me at all you know I kind of like how it looks I'm not mad I'm not complaining about that but just just so you guys know but um, after that it didn't take me long to um, style it after I you know parted it the way I wanted to I just did my little baby hairs it did have a lot of excess lace on the ends um, like going down my ear like it was kind of here so I did have to cut those off just because I have a small head already and in order for it to fit on my head and my like frame my face the way I wanted to I just went ahead and cut that extra lace off I really hate doing that and I try to avoid doing that as much as I possibly can but I couldn't not do it with this wig like if I would have applied it the wig would have been like all the way down here like cut the lace would have been all the way down here past my ear so I had to just go ahead and cut it. wasn't a big deal. I just cut a little piece off of the end of where my ear flap, the, like the ear tabs were, and that was pretty much it. I do love the way it looks, you guys. It really is super cute. I've never done this like type of blonde color before. That's a lie. I probably have, but it's been a long time. But normally when I'm like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go blonde, I'm like, I'm gonna be like 613, super bright blonde, like white blonde type of wig hair colors that's normally my blonde that I stick with because I like how that color looks on me a lot but I actually really really like how this color looks on myself however it wouldn't be my first blonde choice to pick like I said like I like the bright blonde colors but this one's really cute I really do like it this is something that I would wear I feel like I would wear this wig if I was going out, maybe, to get some drinks or something, you know, something cute to have on, something that's not going to be too much in the way, you know. But it's really pretty. The wig is really soft. It's really, really thick. Like, I love how, I love the density of it. Like, it's the perfect density. It's not too much hair, but it's not too thin where you're, like, seeing through, like, the bob style. And then I love, like, the ends of it are really thick. Like, when I was straightening it, I was like, wow, these ends are really thick. So you definitely got a good amount of hair on this wig, which I really, really like about it. I do like this style. I could wear it for a while. Even if I, you know, when I wash it, which I probably will, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get wavy and I may wear it like in a wavy style. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But I feel like even if I put it in like 
a ponytail. Even that is gonna be cute. And this is probably how I'm gonna wear my hair tonight at work. And that even looks cute from like the front and from like the side. You definitely could part this wig wherever you want because it was parted in the middle whenever I first took it out the box and I moved it to the side. So you got plenty of parting space going on. Like I said, there are these like black knots throughout the um, root of it. And I feel like that's okay. It looks natural still. It doesn't make it look crazy or anything, but I just wanted to tell y'all that. So on the back of the box, it lets you know um, how to maintain the hair, how to care for the hair, all that good stuff that normally comes in all, you know, wig boxes. Inside of it, the wig was inside this bag right here. It tells, it tells you how many inches it is, 14 inch bob. Then it comes with this little strap in it. I'm pretty sure this is elastic band for it to go, like for you to measure your head if it doesn't fit on your ride. So this is nice. I already have plenty of this, but you know, I'll put it in my collection that I have already. And it has their company here, Ali Pro Hair, Human Hair Wigs. And it tells you how to wash your wigs, how to clean your wigs, how to care for your wigs, just more wig information of how to take care of your hair while you're wearing it. It has this cute little bag in it. I love these bags. I have a few of these already, you guys, and I plan on using them. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but whenever I get ready to take a vacation and I need to like some extra bag, some extra bags to pack stuff in, I definitely will be pulling these out. And I probably have like four or five of these bags already. And it has their company on it, Ali Pro Hair, and also two wig caps. So that's what comes inside the little box. It's a really cute little box, Valentine's Day box. And I really like it. I like everything about how the packaging was. I didn't expect any of this to be in here. I didn't expect to get an elastic band or anything. So that was fun opening that. And what else do I need to say about the wig? Um, yes, it definitely is big head friendly as well as small head friendly. I had to adjust my straps all the way again because I have a tiny head. <laughs> and I like for my wigs to feel secure, you guys. And then I also had to cut excess lace off the ears so it could fit my head shape perfectly. I haven't had to do that in a long time, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. It takes a second to do. Um, it was easy to do the baby hairs and it was already, like it already looked so natural in the front because normally when you get light colored wigs or any type of colored wigs, it's easy for it to blend because the black knots aren't so like vibrant and are, are apparent in the wig, which normally black wigs um it's, it's more like easier to see but whenever i have a colored wigs like red blonde or pink it's already like perfect ready to go all i gotta do is put it on and it's good and this is um this one wasn't that bad but like, i don't know if y'all could see like the black knots in it but i didn't want to spend too much time on installing the wig so i just i literally just you know put it on and then went about my day but it's really cute i like it it's like a cool tone blonde it's not too much blonde you know if you're somebody who doesn't want to go super bright blonde then this would be a perfect wig for you to start off with or just to try if you really like it it's really affordable i think for the 14 inch it was like 97 dollars something like that i'll make sure i put everything in the description box because y'all know i'd be forgetting like <laughs> I be forgetting, I be getting my wigs mixed up. But it is really pretty, you guys. Like everything about the wig is really pretty. I like it a lot. Super cute, super lightweight, super fluffy and affordable. Very like um, flowy, like I could definitely flip my hair if I wanted to. And it's just cute, I like it. It's a 14 inch, I feel like it's probably, yeah, it's definitely true to length especially if I fully straightened it out because right now it's like kind of bumped under and it kind of did that on its own. I feel like anytime I have a straight wig, they kind of just do their own little thing. <laughs> human hair, my human hair straight wigs kind of just bump under like that. And I'm okay with that. I think it looks cute like that. I'm not mad at it. I kind of just straighten it as much as I can and then I leave the little bump going on this underneath. But like, look how thick the ends are y'all. Like, and I can even feel it when I'm brushing it. Like, when the brush, as the brush is going through, it's so thick. And I just really like this wig. I love it. Um, 
I think I said everything about the wig already, you guys. Make sure you check out Ali Pearl Hair. If you haven't yet, if you haven't heard of their company yet, I think they have some really amazing wigs. I love this one a lot. It's definitely constructed really well, and I love the fact that it was easy for me to just part it any way I wanted to. And yeah, that's going to be all for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys like my cute little pre-Valentine's Day look I did. <laughs> I'm practicing a ton of looks because I don't know exactly what look I want to do for Valentine's Day, but I do know that I have something saved in my phone that I think is going to be really cute. And since I'm actually, my, my manager gave me that day off and I'm so excited about it. So I'll probably come on here and do a get ready with me with you guys. So I can show you guys how I'm going to get cute for my man for that night. And that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys love this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.